teacher. I was required to by my school to do this for our SLP for Hawaiian Studies. A bit of it is that I just want to, I don't know, be better to our planet, to you know the, the native people here who see their land covered in garbage. Really it's just being more active in the community and I think 808 cleanups, it helps that there's a lot of events and it's location is pretty convenient to come out. So I wanted to help with the beach cleanups because like it helps save the world. What got me out here is uh, I'm one of the advisors for our Green and Blue crew at Hahiona Elementary School. So this is a pledge that we took to help the environment as much as we can. So at least once a month we do a, a beach cleanup. Well, originally I came out because of a class requirement, but I've always been interested in beach cleanups. Um, I always think it's kind of fun and it's important because um, we have so much plastic in the ocean. Um, so I think it's something that everyone should do. Um, I enjoy it, so that's why I came out today. <laughs> well, I've been volunteering my whole life. You know, it's, it's really kind of a big impact because living here on Oahu, you see like a lot of trash and you know people tend to like litter and all that. Um, just the fact that people helping out um, others is a, a big change and a lot of people should do that. Anyway, so we have the Freedom Blue Crew, which is an, an environmental club that we started at Hahaioni Elementary. Um, and so we kind of read about this man named Brian Daisy that was cleaning up the beaches and we learned about how much plastic was on our beaches and the harm that it can do to our animals and us as humans. So we decided to build his device. So we looked on his website called and which is called C.world, which and it told us how to make it, so we did and tested it and it worked very well. Inspired by just being on the beach and the beaches are not clean. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. So we wanted to help. I saw the the sheet of sign up for the blue and green crew in my Thursday envelope and I thought it would be fun because a lot of my friends were doing it, like Sophia. And so I decided to help out the beaches. And as parents, we just wanted to get the students involved because we felt like if they they're the ones that are going to initiate this change. They're the ones that are behind us in the grocery stores saying, don't buy that because it's plastic, or mom, you shouldn't use that straw. So or, can... or, it's, it's, or it's going to die. Or, yeah, yeah or, looking at the, or looking at the bottom of the plastic and saying, this is a number five, we can't, we can't buy this. So if we can get more and more kids to encourage their parents and educate their parents at home, um, 